Good morning, folks. Cody Nelson here. Back out in some wide row corn. We're actually in some 44 inch corn again. Uh, some of the same stuff we had in some different videos, but I wanted to show you some things that might bring us the most advantage to this wide row corn. <coughs> Whether we're talking 60 or 44, there's there could be lots of benefits to just going kind of a skip row. Maybe that's what we ought to call it, a skip row corn. But a big one is getting giving us the opportunity to get a cover crop established. So as you look, we've got a very diverse cover established. Um, you notice that it's wet, but there's no mud on my shoes. Um, what is gonna be the biggest advantage to this? So as we have more cover crops growing in between the rows of the corn, we have more root mass. We're building our soil structure. We're improving our soil structure. One thing that we're seeing uh, becoming a trend might be our wetter falls. You know, it used to be we'd have a dry fall, we'd get out there and harvest and, and not have an issue. You know, you'd get a rain every now and then, but it seems to be becoming more of a trend that we're having to deal with more uh, high moisture, heavy rainfall events in, later in the season. And what, what else would be better than to have something else growing in between your corn rows than something utilizing that moisture, something building that root mass, something helping to improve your soil structure. So the thing is, let's look at some of this corn. Uh, it's standing really good. Uh, we got some nice ears, uh, very nice ears. We're running the same corn population. So essentially we're doubling the corn population, but yet we're shutting off every other row. Uh, you can see we've got the corn plants a little bit closer together but that seems to be fine. Um, everything so far is showing us that yield wise, uh, we're probably gonna be very close to the same. We might be a little above, a little below. Um, we haven't seen a huge variation like one would think. Um, we think we might have some ways to actually increase yield. Uh, we're seeing a lot quicker maturity in this wider row corn than we do in the narrower row corn. My thoughts behind that is more of the leaves all the way down the plant are capturing sunlight, creating photosynthesis or allowing photosynthesis to occur. Therefore, that corn is maturing faster. So maybe, just maybe the way to improve your yields on a wide row corn over a narrow row corn might be our ability to use a longer day corn. Um, this year, I think throughout much of the Midwest, our advantage might be the fact that it's just going to be drier um, and, and we don't have to spend as much money drying that corn down. Uh, so there's lots of advantages. You know, we always hear, oh, if you're a cow guy, it makes sense, but maybe, maybe not so much if we don't have cows to graze. And I'm here to tell you, I don't think you need the cows to justify having the ability to get out and harvest your crop. Um, everybody needs to get their crop harvested and this is going to give us a really good advantage to do so. Uh, I was having a conversation with, with uh, one of our Soil, Soil RX uh, customers here this morning. Um, what, about, what about those people that haven't yet incorporated cover crops? How can, how can they do this? How can we start? Because we're talking with these wet falls, we might be, for lack of better words, forced into doing some no-till, reduced-till type situations just because it might be frozen before you get the corn off. And what I told him is the same thing I'm gonna tell you. I think for this year, maybe we need to go out and just fly some rye onto, the, onto that corn. So we've got something out there to utilize that moisture going, coming into next spring. Wait until the ground's frost or, or frozen. We get out there and get our corn off for, on frozen ground, not creating any compaction, not leaving any ruts. How much less fuel are we gonna use if we don't have to trudge through the mud to get the corn out? We go over frozen ground, Next spring that rye comes up, we've got a perfect seed bed uh, established so we can go ahead and, and plant beans right into that. So, and when I say a perfect seed bed, I mean knee high rye, waist high rye, whatever you're gonna be eventually comfortable with and that'll get taller as you get further into it. So lots of things that, could, that we gotta look at here when we move into wet falls. I think this wide row corn thing could really work really well. I think this might be our situation where we maybe got to look at some aerial applicated rye. Remember, we don't sell seed. I'm not trying to sell anything. 
I'm just trying to make sure we can make your farm a little bit more profitable and, and make things work out a little bit easier. If we can help the environment along the way, that's a huge plus as well. But we're creating a way to uh, get you to add diversity to your soil, which is gonna add uh, ability to increase your profits. So if we can start to cut, cut back and reduce on some fertilizer inputs, cut back on some fuel needs, and still manage to get the same crop yields and increase net profit per acre, it's gonna be a win. So that's what I have for you today. Uh, we'll just walk through some of these and you can see we've got, uh, we've got some really nice cover crops established out here. I know that's why you checked into this video. So, but look at this, look at this purple top turnip we got out here. Uh, we've got some cabbage and kale. We've got annual ryegrass growing out here. There's some hairy vetch. So we've got a lot of stuff. Now a combine can fly right over this. We're not, we're not gonna deal with near the issues that we would, um, you know, in, in a bare ground situation. So I think that might be our biggest advantage to this. And, and we're gonna continue to bring you more of these videos. We'll be able to watch this, but we are in a 200 bushel yield environment. Uh, and I think that's, I, I definitely think that's a possibility here. So, uh, Make sure you hit the subscribe button, like the video if you would, uh, share the video, get it out to as many people as, as we want to. We want to. We want to help everybody. So if you got any questions, you can go to our website at soilrx.net. Uh, you could email me at soilrx1 at gmail.com. That's it for today. Have a great day, folks.